Let's try to solve another rational equation. Let's try x squared equals 12x over x plus 1. Okay, so looking at this, you might say, hey, this is x times x, this is 12 times x, I might want to just divide both sides by x or multiply both sides by 1 over x. It's a bad idea. We don't want to divide by anything with a variable in it because that might erase the solution, which is more, or erase one of the solutions, which is more dangerous than creating a fake solution. If you create an extra solution that doesn't really work, you can always just plug it back into the beginning and check. If you erase the solution while you're solving, you kind of get stuck and you might not see that solution ever. So, let's just multiply by an expression x plus 1. So this gives me the following, x cubed plus x squared minus 12x is equal to 0. What do these all have in common? Well, I can certainly factor out an x. That's fine. And now I have something that maybe I can factor. Let's see if we're looking for solutions in the whole numbers. Well, 12 could be 1 and 12, but I'm not going to get a 1 by taking plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 12. I'm also not going to get any odd number if I take plus or minus 6 and 2, but if I take 3 and 4 and I want to get a plus x, I'd have to add the 4x and subtract the 3x. So now I know x equals 0 or x equals 3 or x equals minus 4. Okay, so three solutions. At 0, it's obviously going to be 0 equals 0. Maybe not obviously, but x squared at 0 is 0, and 12x at 0 is 0, so I get 0 equals 0. Over here, at 3, I can easily plug in 3. What do I get? I get 9 equals 12 times 3 over 4. Well, 12 over 4 is 3. So 9 is equal to 3 times 3? Sure. And at minus 4, what do I get? 16 equals 12 times minus 4. Well, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So let's look at this. Well, 12 over minus 3 is minus 4. Is it true that 16 is equal to minus 4 squared? Sure. Um, so that shows us that all three of these are actually solutions to this original equation. Even if there was no rational expression, even if this was a simple quadratic, um, it's probably not a bad idea to plug these numbers in or whatever numbers you get. We wouldn't get 3 in, in the case it was a quadratic, but if it, if it was a cubic, we might. It's not a bad idea to quickly think about your answers and decide whether they make any sense in the original equation anyway, because that's part of checking your work. Here you have to check your work because you might generate fake solutions, but overall it's not a horrible idea, especially since it only takes a moment to plug something in, but it sometimes takes a really long time to find your answer. So. Save yourself some time and make sure that your answer is correct, especially in these situations where you have to watch out for extra solutions.